What's going on guys? Quench here with Classic Firearms. We've got Matt. What's up? And guys, we've got something really special coming out of a private collection here. And these are some really good looking and rare infield rifles chambered in that famous 303 British round. Now, what's making these rare is a unique stamp on it. Matt, what is that stamp? So each of these rifles has a South African uh, stamp uh, right here above the receiver. Yep. And we're gonna take a closer look at that here in just a moment. But yeah. uh, Clint, you know, each of these uh, rifles has some really unique details. They do. And again, that South African man is very, or Mark, is very sought after, something that you just don't see a lot of. I don't think we've ever had them here. No. 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 So we've got six of these, and we're going to be selling these for $14.99 a piece, and that's going to be the same price across the board. You're, gonna, you're actually going to buy the specific serial number that we're going to show to you here today. So Matt, what's that first serial number that we've got? So what we have here is a English-made physically uh, rifle, it's PF71344. PF71333, what was it again? A 1344. 1344, okay, cool. So that's the first rifle that we're gonna have here, guys. And you'll see that it's got excellent wood on it. We've already checked the bore on these and every last one of the bores on these are, are flawless. They look mirror bright and they're great. And what's neat about this one too is at some point, somebody added a South African specific RAF or Royal Air Force sling to it. So we don't know exactly if this rifle was, you know, issued to a Royal Air Force airman or whatever ground crewman. We have no idea really the history behind this rifle other than it did come with a factory or original infield South African RAF sling. And you can tell that by the blue tint that it has. So really cool feature about this gun. Absolutely. Yeah, so I'm liking that quite a bit. All right, and this and these are all number four Mark ones, correct? Well, so all of them are number four Mark ones on the table, except for one number four Mark one star, which is actually our next rifle. Great yes. segue. Yeah. So, what is the serial number on that guy? So we have a Canadian Long Branch manufactured uh, rifle. It is 17L9644. Gotcha. Okay. And Long Branch, of course, is the manufacturer out of Canada, as Matt okay. mentioned. And what's neat about this one is it does have all numbers matching, except there is no number on the magazine itself. So we don't know if it's actually the original magazine that came with the gun. So it's not really non-matching, but it's, it's not matching. matching. So yeah, we can't confirm nor deny whether or not that mag is actually matching to the gun. But overall, again, really beautiful finish on it. You'll notice this one too. And, it'll, and I don't think that's just a specific feature to the Canadian guns because we'll notice on the next US property marked one also has the ribs going along the cover on top there. Well, so one of the really cool things that I like about Enfields and one of those reasons you can collect them like just almost infinitely is the number of tiny variations in them. Yeah. A great example, this one has two peep apertures rears. Yep. Uh, so you have like your battle sight and then like a, a longer distance sight versus on many, uh, looks like all the other ones, we have the more adjustable oh, yeah, you know, flip up kind of a, you know, where you can adjust this aperture with the screw. Um, you know, so it, it's really interesting when you take drill down and you look at all the differences between, you know, the sights, end cups, like the sights here. Uh, I mean, even just the way the bolt comes out, yeah. there's just so much variation, which makes infields really exciting to collect. Right, and that number, or that you know, number four Mark One star, the only difference really is is kind of how the bolt comes out. Is that right? Well, so the number four Mark One star is kind of like an intermediary uh, before they get to like a number two yeah. uh, model. And so there are some differences that made it a little bit simpler, usually in the barrel having to do with the rif rifling and stuff. Mm -hmm. But there is a difference in how the bolt comes out in uh, in these rifles. So you can see back here, Got this one, in the back. you bring yeah. the bolt all the way to the rear and push this button down mm -hmm. to rotate the bolt head. Versus on this rifle, there is an interrupted track up here that you would rotate the bolt up here. But that's not just to the uh, to the star, I don't mm -hmm. think, because we also see that here, for instance, on this rifle, where it has the interrupted track out the front and over here. Gotcha, okay, well, very cool. So that right there, we're already seeing a couple little differences in these, and all of them pretty unique. So let's go ahead and roll into our third one. So what we have for you is a US-made Savage rifle. The serial number on this one is 35C4534. All right, very cool. So now what's unique about this one is that it is a U.S. property marked, but um, but this one here actually has the Frizarkley, or is that how Frizarkley pronounced, however, but it actually has an English bolt in it, from That's my right. understanding. So, I mean, it's really cool that it's got that English bolt. Of course, yeah. it does mean that it's not an all-matching numbers rifle. Right. But, uh, you know, it 
obviously uh, it kind of is an interesting combination where you have a US made receiver, mm -hmm. an English made bolt, and it went to South Africa. It's got a lot of history to it. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And when you think about these rifles, I mean, they survived, what, this one was 1942 marked? Uh, right? Let's take a look. That's all right, 1942. So 1942 marked, so it survived World War II, survived what apartheid, it survived all of that, and in this condition, and now we've got it here that we're able to offer you guys, and that's with all of these rifles, so that's pretty cool. That's absolutely right. Yeah, so very neat. And then the other special feature about this one too is that this will come with a specific cleaning kit as well, so pretty cool there. Uh, rolling into the next one, what we got here? So we have another English-made for Zachary. For Zachary. Uh, <laughs> serial number is PF58272. All right, very cool. So this one right here, again, real nice wood on it. I think that I like that bright color that it has to it. Yeah. Yeah, very good looking. And this one too, let me show the camera this one, because the stamp on the South African mark on this guy shows up very well. Yeah, we got it filled in there. Yeah, they got it filled in, so you can definitely see the mark that we have there on this guy. And of course, this one here, just like the rest of them, minus this guy, are all coming with your infield surplus sling as well. And man, absolutely love how smooth the bolts on are on these rifles. They are so cool. You know, I really think that the infield is, from a collector standpoint, or a mechanical standpoint, really yeah. interesting because you just don't see that cock on close action. You know, almost all other bolt action rifles are cock on open. Yeah. And so, you know, the cock and close is definitely supposed to be what had given the, uh, the infield its famous speed for right. shooting. Yeah. I definitely feel that, that's for sure. This thing's great. All right. And then rolling into our next one here, again, we've got that, we've got that, notice that ribbing up top. Yep. So we have another Canadian long branch rifle. Um, this one is a 18L6828 serial number. And actually this one is also marked specifically as a number four mark one star. Gotcha, okay, so this is another star one. Okay, very cool. And we'll show that one to the camera too a little bit. And just so you guys can kind of get an idea of this one here being another one of our long branch rifles. Very good looking. And let me show you the reverse where you can definitely see the markings there. What a beautiful rifle. And I love this one too. This one's got a little bit more character, so it's going to be kind of my favorite because you'll notice the couple of gashes that it has right up front. Uh, but honestly, it doesn't look like anything that really detracts from the rifle. If anything, it kind of draws my eye towards it more. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's got some neat looking marks to it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously nothing structural there. Um, so far forward, it's, it's not going to weaken the stock in any way to shoot it. No. Um, but like you said, you kind of imagine like what could that have been? Could he yeah. have been like, you know, pairing something with the rifle? <laughs> right. Or could this have been like, you know, I mean, he got drunk one night and he, <laughs> he, his rifle fell out of the Jeep on the way home. Or yeah, something. right. Something like that. Yeah, that's pretty funny. But you never know. And these things have a great story to tell. And I think they would make an excellent addition to any collector or somebody just wants a, a cool piece of history. We've got something for you. And speaking of got something for you, this last one is absolutely beautiful. This one is in pretty much unissued condition. And check out that one. I mean, just take a look at that stock. It's gorgeous. We have a U.S. Property Mark Savage Rifle, serial number 35C1856, um, dated 1942. So again, even though it's in its fantastic condition, yeah. World War II era rifle. Yep. Um, I mean, it's it's gorgeous. Yeah, that's that's all there is to it. So unfortunately, on this guy here, um, we don't know if the stock and the magazine are matching numbers since they don't have any numbers on them. Uh, however, everything else on it is matching, so that's good to go. But overall, this Beechwood stock on it's absolutely beautiful. It looks, I, again, unissued. Like, I don't know if somebody, I don't know, maybe they got issued that and then got kicked out or something for, you know, unruly or misconduct or something. I don't know. But hey, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Again, coming with your surplus sling, and I'm loving that. That is absolutely gorgeous. So absolutely. Um, you know, Enfield's great rifles. You got to think back in the day, everyone else was using five round Mausers, yeah. five round Mosins, even the Americans had an eight round in the uh, M1 Grand, Grand yep. and they had 10 rounds. Now it's not semi-automatic, no. but still you had 10 rounds on tap, which is just a really unique feature for the time frame. And you know, like even the Canadian Mounted Police in, uh, in Canada still had the Enfield as a standard issue yeah. firearm for their use through like three years ago or yeah, so. Yeah, which like, is pretty cool. Yeah, man. And they're accurate rifles as well. Absolutely. 303 is a fantastic cartridge. Yeah. So guys, don't miss out your chance here. So again, we kind of ran through everything here for you. These are going to be available again at $14.99.99. And this is a private collection that we we're able to get these from. And we're very happy to have them in store for a while. So take advantage of them. Don't miss out on these. I would hate for you guys to do that because you are getting literal piece of history. Like I mentioned before, all the years and all the things that these rifles have seen coming from South Africa. 
it's amazing that they they are in this condition and now in our video room. That's right. Which is even better. So don't miss out on these guys. And speaking of missing out on things, don't miss out on our current giveaway of the Flat Dark Earth CZ Scorpion. This thing is so much fun. If you haven't seen my video on that, check that out. Get your entries on that because if you don't enter, you can't win. And guys, as always, we appreciate your business. God bless y'all. And we'll see you next time at ClassicFarms.com.